Welcome to the Oscar Storm video blog. Looking at Nebraska at Wisconsin. This is it. It's finally here. Probably the biggest Big Ten game of the year. Potentially national title impl implications. Uh, the Badgers will finally get tested this year as they have played one of the weakest non-conference schedules. Um, and Nebraska, of course, will obviously get tested. Um, their non-conference schedule hasn't been that great. And uh, they have been tested a little bit in terms of uh, not playing that well. But uh, um, this is going to be a great game. And Camp Randall at night is one of the greatest college football atmospheres. There's no question about it. Um, Nebraska fans will travel. They're supposed to wear black. So expect to see some black in the stands. ESPN's game day will be there. And the Big Ten will truly kick off when this game starts. Uh, if we look at the quarterbacks, Taylor Martinez at Nebraska and Russell Wilson at Wisconsin. Taylor Martinez is uh, great on his feet. So is Russell Wilson. Uh, Taylor Martinez is much quicker and faster than Russell Wilson. I don't think Russell Wilson's that quick in terms of acceleration, but he is very good on his feet. No question about it. He's got speed. He can make plays with his feet. Uh, there's no question that Russell Wilson has a much better arm than Taylor Martinez. Taylor, Taylor Martinez has struggled in terms of uh, passing in his first two years at Nebraska. <laughs> and Russell Wilson has uh, came out and made Wisconsin probably the most balanced offense in college football. They, they already had a great running game last year. Scott Tolzien complimented that running game with his passing ability. But Russell Wilson is another dimension with his ability to make plays with his feet. And he's probably a better passer than Scott Tolzien. So definitely the advantage is Wisconsin there in terms of quarterback. Uh, Taylor Martinez has a big playability on his feet. So does Russell Wilson. Taylor Martinez has the edge in that. But Russell Wilson is going to make plays with his, with his arm. And uh, Taylor Martinez is going to need to do that if Nebraska wants to win this game. If we look at the running backs, we all know about Wisconsin's Monty Ball and James White, who uh, tore up college football last year, especially James White, freshman of the year in the Big Ten. Um, He's, he's a great running back, and uh, I think he's going to have a good day. Um, Nebraska, yeah, Rex Burkhead. And uh, Amir Abdul is great special teams. He's going to make a huge difference there. Huge difference there. Aaron Green's going to get time. Berlin Hurd's going to get time. I think the big load's going to be on Rex Burkhead. He had a terrific game last week. He's been picking up each week, and uh, I think he's going to pick up this week and rush for 100 yards. Um, uh, James White, he's going to have a better day than Monty Ball. That's a bold prediction from me. I believe he's going to rush for 100 yards too. So yeah, two 100 rushing yard guys in this game. And the advantage is split, I think. Both teams have great running backs. And uh, Nebraska and Wisconsin both have depth. Nebraska likes to get more guys in there, but Rex Burkhead is going to take the load. Wisconsin's got two guys that can do it very well, and Nebraska's got three guys that can get out there and play well too. Um, so it's it's definitely a split there in terms of running backs. Now if we look at the wide receiver position and uh, tight end, Nebraska's got speed, no question about it. Kenny Bell, Jamal Turner, two freshmen uh, who have played really well. You get them the ball, they make plays, uh, vertical passing ability, um, vertical uh, ability to stretch the field. Kyler Reed is, is great out of the tight end position. Um, he's got potential at the next level in terms of the NFL. He's um, he's a great player, and he's going to need to be used in this game. Nick Toon, uh, one of Wisconsin's um, better wide receivers in the past 20 years. Wisconsin hasn't been known to have great wide receivers, and uh, he's he's uh, kind of ruined that little talk about Wisconsin being an all-run game because he's great, and uh, Alfonso Denard's going to have his hands full, but... Uh, Alfonso Denard's going to hold Nick Toon, but Nick Toon's going to have a good game because he's just too good of a wide receiver to not. Uh, Jacob Pedersen, great great tight end. He's going to have to be used, um, especially on rollouts and play action. Um, but what Wisconsin's got some good wide receivers, but in terms of speed and big playability, I've got to go the edge to Nebraska. Um, they're, they're just too quick in the wide receiver position, and uh, Wisconsin, I don't know, if, I mean, they've got guys that can make plays, no question about it, Nick Toon's huge, 
Uh, but there's nobody that they really, besides Nick Toon, that can vertically stretch the field. Um, defense. Nebraska. They finally get the big three to play together, who hasn't played together all year. Levante David, Alfonso Denard, and Jared Crick. Uh, Jared Crick and Levante David have played together this year. And uh, Alfonso Denard and Levante David have played together this year. So now they all get to play together, and that's, that's huge. Because right there, those are three preseason All-Americans and uh, three guys that will play at the next level, and they're going to need to play well if Nebraska wants to have a chance in this one. So Nebraska's got the edge on defense. They've got the stars, but they haven't yet played like a team on defense. They can do that today. I mean, next this next game, it's going to be a good one, no question about it. So now if we look at a breakdown here, um, speed. Definitely Nebraska squared both on defense and offense and special teams. Quarterback, definitely Wisconsin. Russell Wilson, too good with his arm. Running back, that's a split there. O-line, Nebraska's goal line is young. They definitely have a future. They ro like to rotate eight, eight guys in and out, so they keep them fresh. And uh, But Wisconsin's big, and they lost two NFL caliber um, linemen last year, but Brett Belima just pushes the other guys out there, and they perform just as well, if not better. <laughs> and they're just, I mean, it's not like they go out there and recruit the best offensive linemen. They get kids from Wisconsin and big 325-pound guys, and they're performing well. Nebraska's defensive line, definitely the advantage there. Both teams have three returning starters, but Jared Crick makes a huge difference for Nebraska's defensive line. Secondary, I say that's a split. Um, Nebraska has the stars and Levante David and Alfonso Denard, but they're young, and... Uh, so is Wisconsin, so that's a split. Overall, I'd say it's a split. Slight advantage to Wisconsin, but it's a split mostly. Uh, what do the offenses need to do? Well, Taylor Martinez. Let's talk about Nebraska's offense. They've got to be multiple, like they have been all year. They've run the eye form, the pistol, and the spread. Um, I'd like to see them spread the ball out a little more and get, the, get some read option in there and actually get it to work. That was their money play last year. Um, Taylor Martinez is definitely going to have to hit some quick passes, some screens, and they're going to have to vertically stretch the ball down the field straight from the get-go. Um, I do believe they'll be able to, to get that I-form running game working with, uh, Rex Burkhead, and they might start off slow, but come second half, you might see this, this run game really push Wisconsin. As long as they don't get too far behind, they, they're forced to put Taylor Martinez passing the ball. Now, uh, Taylor Martinez passing... If you watch him pass, his feet work is horrible. His arm angle is awful. Um, but that's when he's sitting in the pocket. When he's on the run, it's, his arm is still ugly. His feet work a little uh, ugly. But when he's on that run, rolling out, sprinting out, um, he's much more deadly and I think much more accurate. Uh, I think that's what Nebraska needs to do is get him out of the pocket, making plays where he can run the ball and pass the ball potentially. That's what Nebraska's got to do. They got to get the ball to the playmakers quickly. Rex Burkhead, Kenny Bell, Jamal Turner, Kyler, Kyler Reed, um, Brandon Kenny, uh, Amir Abdullah, Braylon Hurd, Aaron Green. You got to get the ball to those guys. Tanner Martinez, I think he's going to have a good day. He's going to rush for 100 yards. I don't know how good of a day he's going to have in the, in the air, but I think he's going to rush for 100 yards. Now, Wisconsin. What they need to do offensively is uh, watch how teams have exploited Nebraska so far this year. It's been a mobile quarterback, pretty much. Uh, Nebraska has struggled a little bit with that. Keith Price was able to get out of sacks and just with good feet work, and he was a little gimpy in that game. And uh, Russell Wilson is going to need to do the same. They get Russell Wilson out of the pocket, some play-action rollouts, get the ball to Jacob Pedersen, the tight end, um, find ways to work Nick Toon into the into the uh, offense because it's going to be tough with Alfonso Denard out there. That secondary is going to play much better than they have. But saying that, James White is going to have a good day, 100 yards. I think he's going to have a better day than Monty Ball. Um, and uh, Russell Wilson is going to do his job, I think. Uh, I see both offenses rushing for at least 175 yards uh, in the air. Wisconsin's probably going to win that battle, but um, Nebraska's going to get some big plays, and uh, they're going to need to capitalize on those big plays, and uh, 
a turnover difference is going to be key in this game because Wisconsin, they don't make much mistakes. They play their game, which is run the ball. Now they're using the pass more, but they're still going to run the ball and uh, not make mistakes and beat themselves. Now Nebraska cannot turn the ball over. They cannot fumble, but I will say Taylor Martinez will throw an interception in this game, um, but he will not fumble. I'm going to say that. Uh, there might uh, there might be another fumble by a running back. Rex Burkhead's been good with the ball. He's been deadly. He will be deadly in this game. And uh, I believe this game's going to be a close one, but my prediction is Wisconsin. And uh, Wisconsin's going to take this one. Now, this game could be a a high-scoring fight all the way to the end uh, where both teams are up in the 40s and 30s. Or we could see a game where both offenses um, don't play very well. But I think we're going to see a game where, where um, teams are rushing the ball. Uh, Russell Wilson's going to have a, a good game through the air. So I got Wisconsin winning this one. As a Nebraska fan, I do have Wisconsin winning this one. So don't hate on me, Nebraska fans. And uh, this is just this is what I, th I believe Nebraska can win this game. But I think Wisconsin's going to win this game. Um, so Wisconsin's going to take this one 38 to 34. That's my prediction. We'll see how that goes. Uh, thanks for watching. Check back for the week four assessment on Wednesday. And uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. Go Nebraska.